in high definition, live from Fox Wilmington. This is Carolina in the Morning. You may want to go lock up your medicine cabinet. We're learning that almost 200 children end up in the emergency room every day after getting into medication. That's more than 60,000 kids ages 5 and under per year. Well, a group called Safe Kids Worldwide is launching a new initiative called Safe Storage, Safe Dosing, Safe Kids. The campaign is asking parents and medical groups to work together to bring down the number of accidental poisonings. If you have some old and unwanted medications, here's your chance to get rid of them the safe way. There's a drug drop-off happening tomorrow from 9 to 1 at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. drive through service will be available. This is at the medical mall on South 17th Street uh, right next to the hospital. And what are you doing to protect the children in your care? From fertilizer to antifreeze, poisonous items are all throughout the house. In honor of National Poison Prevention Week this morning, Claire Hossman showing us some ways to reduce uh, the number of these preventable incidents in your own home. Some good information this morning, Claire. Kim, another item to add to that list you were just talking about, medications. I know we hear about this a lot, but it's so important. And the reason we have to keep talking about it is because they are numbers and numbers of people who still, unfortunately, get their hands on the wrong medications. Many of those people, usually small children or elderly adults who just really don't know any better. So here today for some tips on how to prevent that from happening in your home, we have Blair Lampros with Liberty Healthcare. Good morning, Blair. Hey. Um, yeah, one of the big things is that a lot of people store their medications in drawers like this that are easy to access. Um, so you may want to take them out and put them like in a, a medication cabinet that's higher up or, you know, put them somewhere safer so that elderly adults that are confused or small children can't get their hands on them. Or even include a lock on that, you know, exactly. you can never be, be too sure. Okay, and let's talk about disposal. I know there's a lot of disposal events happening around town. We, we mention them often on the news, but some things we don't want to do never ever you know just throw them down the toilet or exactly um, a lot of people think it's safe to throw them in the toilet which it's not that can contaminate the water system um, people also just put them in the trash and there a child can get them out and um, maybe you know ingest some of them you what you want to do is maybe put them in a baggie make sure that they're dissolved with water um, and maybe mix them with like some coffee grounds or kitty litter or something like that so that they can't be you know, used by anyone. Okay, Blair, and then we have this awesome case that I know a lot of people may have. You want to tell us how this could help? Yeah, this is um, an easy way just to kind of keep track of your medications, put them in there each day, and then you can see if you've taken your medication. I know sometimes it's easy to forget if you took it or not, um, and this is just an easy way to store your medications and make sure that you take them as you need to. Yeah, that's so true. I know it sounds so silly. Did I take my medication or yeah. not? But it happens. You know, we all have busy lives and it's so easy to do. So, you know, protect yourself because obviously you, you need to be taking it, but you don't want to overdo it either. So yeah. thanks, Blair. Some great information. We come back, Kim. We're going to show you some tips in the kitchen how some of those household cleaners and whatnot can be dangerous to you and what you can do to keep safe. Yeah, especially for parents with small children. You want to keep that stuff away from them. Thank you very much, Claire. How about 742 right now? You know, every room in your home could be a place at risk for poison, whether it's with a younger child or maybe an older adult. There are ways, though, to minimize some of those risks. And for our final safety tips of the morning, let's hear what our Claire Hosman has prepared for us right now. Claire, good morning. <laughs> Hey Bob, good morning to you. Well, the kitchen is definitely an area of the home where we all need to be careful. There's so many things around here, namely some cleaning materials that could really get you or your loved ones in trouble. So Blair Lampros is joining us once again today for some tips on what we can do to keep safe in the kitchen. Blair, let's start off. We have uh, just some examples here. Let's talk about storage. Where is a, a good place to store them? Because I know down here, just way too easy for little kids to get their exactly. hands on and that's that's where a lot of people like to store their household um, chemicals but it's really better to store it maybe in a cabinet up here um, higher so that kids and you know elderly adults that are confused um, can't get their hands on them okay and now let's talk about labeling a lot of times you know if you buy the product sometimes it's pretty obvious what it is other yeah. times not so obvious or even other times people put it in different 
containers. So what, what are your tips for that? Um, one of the big things is just to try to keep it in the same container that it came in. Um, if you do want to switch it into another container, make sure you have a big label on it that says what it is because you don't want anybody getting confused and, you know, using a household cleaner and thinking that it's water or something like that. Okay. And another thing, too, when you're cleaning around your kitchen, a lot of people have those fruit baskets out there or some vegetables on the countertop. So you're spraying away. You don't really realize how far it actually sprays, and it's so easy that it could, it could land on the fruit. Yeah. Um, one of the big things, you know, a lot of people like to clean while they're cooking, but it's probably better just to clean after you're done cooking because you don't want these chemicals um, close to food or drinks. Perfect. Okay, some great information. Thank you so much, yeah. Blair. Of course, if you missed any of our segments or you'd like to know more, we'll be happy to put you in touch and fill in all that information. Bob, let's go ahead and send it back to you. All right, Claire, thanks very much. Some good information. Do watch uh, those tips uh, that Claire had just mentioned there because Absolutely. to avoid a potentially fatal situation, some of those chemicals. Yes. Drive carefully. You don't want to get involved in something like this. <laughs>